Welcome back to another episode of Ruthless TV, where I review Carl Weber's The Family Business, scene by scene. Now, let's get into this video. The scene opens with Donna laid out by the pool. Brother X is delivering her a package, and at the end of season two, we saw Brother X stabbing Donna. And we all thought that Donna was dead. Turns out, Brother X was just spazzing out, pretty much like Priscilla did on the Oval. When Brother X found out that Donna was not alone, he said that he thought that Donna Duncan was Dolores Duncan. Then he and his oversized UPS box went on about their day. In the next scene, Auntie Paris got a gift for her nephew and he really likes his new gift. He said it's better than a new car. Okay y'all, so they already got us traveling here. We're in Spain now in the lab with Dr. Fritz. Alexander wants to know the progress on the development of fire. The good old doctor tells him that they're having some complications and they need a couple more months. Alexander is very disappointed and he wants to know what the problem is. She says, I can show you better than I can tell you. He walks him to the back where they're keeping the lab rat, Freddy. Freddy tells him that he'll do anything to get more of that heat. The good dog gave him a dose of the good stuff and Freddy started staring into space like he had a shot of heroin. Then after this, he went into convulsions and had a seizure. The doctor then told him that that was an improvement because other people who had taken the drug just a month before actually died. She said that this was the only side effect and that instead of people dying, they're actually just going to sleep after the seizure. Alexander was super pissed. He told the doctor to get it right and get it right fast. He told her that he doesn't want to have that conversation again and then his girl had to put a little extra sauce on it and told her to get it right because her life depended on it then we cut to the duncans and it looks like it's family night with the duncan men and junior comes in with sonia and they make the news in the announcement that they're getting married orlando will be junior's best man and lc is going to walk sonia down the aisle chippy is beyond ecstatic and she's going to help sonia with all the planning sonia wants small and simple but chippy wants big and lavish duncan style then in scene number five, it looks like more than Orlando is looking for Brother X. Curtis here shows up at his spot, but he isn't there. But who is there is his sister. After Curtis here told her that he likes to nibble on the box, she was impressed by the cash and the curly hair and told him to come on in, okay? Then we make it back to Orlando and it looks like he's got a surprise visitor. This is Brandy who was in the lab who used to work with him producing heat. Brandy is of course in her feelings and she starts to key his car when the alarm goes off. Of course, this wakes Orlando up and he goes out to see what's going on. Now before we cut back to Loverboy and the sexy sister, I'm gonna go ahead and tie these two scenes together just because we can. Randy slits his tire with a knife and told him that the stocking is only gonna get worse. He started to warn the young lady that Orlando was bunking with that he had an STD and she hopes that they were wearing protection. Besides the fact that this scene strongly resembled the Leela Rashawn and Boomerang, I have to kind of agree with Orlando when he said that he shouldn't have slept with the help. So unprofessional. Then we cut back to Curtis and Charmaine and Curtis is letting her know that he just wanted to drop the money off to give to Brother X. He said he didn't want no problems. Charmaine told him that he can leave the money there with her. He was a little concerned about leaving all that loot there with his sister, but they both wanted to start building that trust just like that. Then we move on to the next scene and it looks like Juan and Lady Luck here have found themselves in some trouble. They got to go before the judge because they were trying to dig up Consuela's body that just happened to magically disappear. But not only that, they were actually riding around with guns in the car. When they got in front of the judge, good old Juan here is there to set them free. He told the judge that the cops searched their car illegally and the case was thrown out and that's it, they're free. Lamont was paid a six-figure retainer, so I'm sure that Juan didn't expect anything less. Lady Luck was in shock and she couldn't believe that they got off. She was more concerned about where Consuela was. Then we cut to Alejandro, Chewy, and Blade. They're having a midnight barbecue. And this is also where Consuela is hiding out. When he took Consuela some food, she told him that her people were going to come looking for her. And Alejandro had to remind her that her people is his people. She wants Alejandro to just kill her and get it over with, but he told her that he wants her to suffer just like he had to suffer when he had to let his friends think that he was dead. Then we're moving back to Spain and Alexander's lady friend here, she got Dr. Fritz shaking in her boots. Dr. Fritz went back to the drawing board and gave Alexander a call in the middle of the night to come back to the lab. Looks like she got some help in creating a new compound that stops the seizures. But it's not quite a clean slate for them because the new drug knocks a druggie out for hours, leaving them unconscious. Only 15 minutes after taking the drug, Dr. Spock here tells Alexander, well, no, his name isn't Dr. Spock, it's Dr. Trumbull, actually. He told him that his daughter actually worked on the original heat and can come aboard to help with the new drug. He then told Alexander that the sooner that he can get his hands on more heat, the sooner they can replicate it. 
In scene number 11, we see Brother Minister here promoting Brother Elijah to commander of the Brotherhood in charge of security. Brother Elijah feels responsible for the death of so many good brothers that lost their lives behind Brother X's bad decisions. Brother Minister told him that he'd done nothing wrong and he said that he prayed to Allah for so many years to bring the Brotherhood into the fold. Elijah then gets out of the car and goes in to have dinner with Sasha. These two have apparently fallen for each other while they were on the break from season two. Elijah thinks that Sasha's family doesn't like him. But Sasha was like, well, that doesn't matter because I like you. Then in the next clip here, we see Alexander demanding more heat from Sebastian. He tells him that he's going to need some more time because he's totally sold out. Then we cut to Brother X sitting here in his fake mail delivery truck watching Donna as she's going for a walk. And at this very same time, he's grabbing his weapon of choice off the seat next to him. Then we see Charmaine calling Curtis and to let him know that she saw Brother X and she gave him the money. Curtis then asks her what he's driving and she describes an old beat up delivery truck. Then we see the neighborhood detective pulling up to admire Donna as she's taking a walk. When Brother X sees him, he takes off. In scene 14, we see Orlando making it into work at Duncan Motors. But his ride is obviously missing. Brandy is responsible for his car having a flat tire and resting on the flatbed. Moving on to Sonia and Sasha, Sasha comes in and tells her that she wants to date a Muslim, Brother Elijah. It's pretty much a clear understanding that her two cousins won't welcome this new relationship. And Sonia is more concerned about how Chippy is going to react when her niece is dating the man who waged war against their family. And Sasha is very naive in this scene. Of course Chippy's going to be tripping. Sasha didn't even know that she wasn't supposed to eat bacon, so we're going to see how this goes. Then we cut to Sebastian meeting with the Duncans trying to buy more heat. Sebastian tells them that he's got two million in cash and he's ready to talk business. But Orlando peak game real fast. He thinks that Sebastian is a snitch and he may even be wearing a wire. After C-Note gave him the okay, Elsie was still a little hesitant and simply told him that someone will get back to him a little later regarding his intended $2 million purchase of heat. Sebastian runs into Rio on his way out and he lets Rio know that he's under a lot of pressure to get more of the dope. Then we cut to scene 16 where we see Harris enjoying some of Chippy's fried chicken. Sonia and Junior were on their way to dinner until LC got a phone call that was very troubling and the men had to leave. Then in the final scene, our cooch munching friend Curtis here has a little bit of trouble. He pulls up the latch on the truck and it looks like there's a dead body inside. The police pulls up and then Curtis tells them that his name is Curtis Duncan and that he's a bounty hunter. End scene. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Ruthless TV, Family Business, Season 3, Episode 1. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you're a fan of the family business, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'll be breaking down all of Season 3, scene by scene. Thanks once again, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.